Evening, y'all. My name is William Robert, and I am a 100% real American. We're going to go on ahead and get started here. Oh, hang on a second. Already fucked up. Going to need to get that mu their music playing. Uh, there we go. How's that sound, folks? Is that uh, too loud, too quiet? Y'all let me know. This game's in-game music sucks and isn't American enough, so... I went ahead and arranged a playlist of my own that consists of country bluegrass remixes of my favorite video game tunes. We're gonna go on ahead. Uh, I will admit I did pop the game open just to get used to control, see if it's anything like the real thing, and I can confirm it's, uh, it's pr does a pretty good job of emulating the authentic American truck experience. Which is not an easy thing to do. The American experience is uh, very difficult to uh, emulate. Now, we're gonna go on ahead here and we're gonna uh, pick uh, this year job over in uh, uh, El Nevada and we're gonna be driving to Elko, Nevada. Nevada's a nice state. Never been there myself, usually fly over it with an airplane or two. But, uh,. Yeah, that's about it. I don't really know a damn thing about Nevada. Uh, I I'm homegrown, born, raised in Mississippi. Mississippi is a great state, let me tell you. We have, um... Well, maybe we shouldn't talk about the things that Mississippi has. But, uh, it's a nice place. It, it sure does look nice. You know, like driving through and shit. Uh, alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start driving here. Oh careful there. There are all kinds of uh, neat views you can do in your truck. Uh, this is what it looks like inside the cabin. This is what it looks like uh, behind the trailer. If you want a top-down view, you've got... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe don't change the views on the fly like that. Um, maybe we'll just uh, stick to this and when we come to a stop, I'll show you some more of them, uh, their camera options. I don't want to bump into too many things because uh, they take the damages out of your pay. That's understandable if you pay for your own mistakes. That's a very American way of looking at things. And, uh... Go ahead. Chance it here. You can't really... You can't really move your head in the game, which is kind of strange. Like, if I need to look to the left or the right or out, out any of my side windows, I can't do that. My head is locked very forward position, which is kind of ironic considering that my head's going to be locked in this position, which is facing forward towards the my here TV screen for like the next four or five hours. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, speed limit here is 35, but, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this as fast as I can because, uh, well, y'all ever hear the story of the demon hog? Ooh, oh, okay. Whew. Five minutes in, we already have a close one. <laughs> All right. Y'all want to just pump your brakes every time you go two inches forward? Gee, shit. Tell you what. Demon Hog, no, what's that? Well, I'll tell you about the Demon Hog. The Demon Hog is the name of a legendary truck driver. They say that he was able to fly from California to New Jersey in a matter of one day, under 24 hours. This did, however, come at the uh, expense of several hundreds of thousands of dollars in collateral damage, several Michael Bay uh, fueled explosions, and um, well, let's just say that there were a lot of bodies, but a lot of a lot of graveyards on the map that day. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's how I got my nickname, the Demon Hall. So uh, they never found me, obviously. Uh, but that's a side point. We're gonna go ahead and just pass this here, fella. <clears throat> I 
I like how quiet the road is. It's nice to see a nice quiet road. There's a nice change of pace. Speed limit here is 35. I'm going 65. Because why not? You know, it's a free country. We're entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and going fast makes me very happy. 83 miles an hour. In a second. Oh, okay. We got a, we got a bit of a sharp turn coming on up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, apparently I hit something. Well, well, wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. <laughs> oh, shucks, Stephen. Y'all don't have to call me a, uh, uh, William. That's what my father called me. My mama popped me out. She shot me out like uh, an AR-15 fires. Uh, how big of a bullet's going to be? Anyway, the point is, is that... Uh, I, I got shot out of my mama real fast. They had trouble getting me out, so what the, doc, the doctor did was he did a pile driver like they do on the WWE. They did that on my mama's belly, and apparently I, I flew out of my mother faster than a cannonball comes out of a cannon. And, um, oh, well, shit, hit somebody else. Uh, but anyway, apparently I hit my head on the wall after that happened, and, uh, the doctor said I could have a brain injury, but oh, 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 okay. And I, I'll make sure we stop for those. Don't want to have another incident like they did last Tuesday. But, uh, yeah. So, whoa, whoa. I really need to get the brakes on this thing checked. What was I talking about? I think I was talking about the... Uh, I was talking about how uh, they had me uh, uh, brain damaged. Right, they said I could be brain damaged, but it didn't stop me from getting my commercial driver's license. When I was a little boy, all I could think about was becoming a truck driver. And I'll tell you what, that dream came true a lot easier than I thought it would. Especially considering that I had such a hard time getting my personal driver's license, or civilian license, whatever that is. Class C, one that you, you folks down at home have in your, uh, your wallets. Oh, got another red flag. I'll tell you, this is the worst part of the job, is waiting. Doing a whole lot of nothing except listening to music. What do I like to eat while on the road? Well, no, no, that's still red. I like to eat uh, good old-fashioned American cuisine. Hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken fingers, chicken wings. Uh, that's about it. Everything else is communism to me. Uh, that was my question. What? Uh, what's your favorite? Well, I'll tell you what. Reading and texting while driving is not a good idea, folks. Don't do that at home. Leave it to professionals like me to do it. <laughs> what's your favorite food joint at a rest stop? Well, here's the thing. You're never going to find a good place to eat at a rest stop. If you got to stop at a rest stop and you need something to eat, grab a prepackaged bag of chips to tide you over until you get to the good spot. 
good spot is way, 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 way out of the way. You're going to need to probably go 10, 15, maybe 20, sometimes 30 miles out of your way off the main road. You need to follow the signs that were put, that are literally made out of a stripped off piece of bark that say barbecue and then there's an arrow pointed down the road. You got to follow those signs, all right? And the reason you want to do that is because that'll lead you to the best barbecue that you can find. And I'm talking brisket, uh, burgers, wings, pulled pork. I mean, if, if, it, if it goes in a smoker, they probably have it there. And it will be the best barbecue that you ever have in your life. Alright? Also, never trust a barbecue restaurant that doesn't make their own barbecue sauce. Key ingredient has to be ketchup based. If it's not ketchup based, it means they're communists and you need to get out of there. <sighs> so how's everybody's not going? Oh, going real fast here. Burgers, my guy. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, hey. Landed on my feet. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you uh, you look down at your phone and you uh, you text and drive. I literally looked down for half a second and I went flying off the road. So let that be a lesson to you, kids. Don't do it outside of a simulator. Ugh. Now, where was I? Pretty smooth driving, indeed. Oh, did it again. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't one of you boys hop into the passenger seat here with me and read the chat for me? Because I'm going to crash this thing every five seconds if I have to keep looking down like that. you have a favorite strip club while you're out trucking? Well, that's a difficult question to answer, Stephen. There are a lot of them I like. But, uh, the thing is, is that... Oh, well, shit. Um, don't mind me. Uh, just uh, illegally trying to pass this here truck on the row. Well, I'm committed now. Fuck. Um... So, you see that double yellow line? That means you're not supposed to pass them, but uh, I don't see any goddamn cops around, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pass them around here. Hey, William. Hey. If it isn't hey, Sam. I'm Sam with Retro Roulette. Up, hey, man? Sam, hang on just uh, two seconds. I got you coming at the wrong speaker, so I don't think the audience is gonna don't hear you. If they can, they're gonna hear you real awkwardly. Let me, uh, let me fix that. The one time I need a red light. Just uh, hang up on just a second there, friend. Gonna, there we go. Nice red light. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this here. And that button. Well, oh no! I, oh, you're right. What happened? It took me out of the damn thing. I hit escape. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Well, Steven that's what I get for not properly I'm having good. this shit set up. Hang on a second. Oh. Damn it. Um, zero out of ten. Worst stream ever. Oh. Alright, where's the damn settings? Where's the video? There we go. Hey, uh, Sam, say something for me. 
Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine now. Perfect. All right, All right. so. Oh, okay, cool. Hitting escape was just like hitting the pause button, seems. Oh, also looks like I missed a turn at some point. So I gotta do a Yui. And it's telling me I could do a Yui just by making the left button. And stuff like that. But like, honestly, why would I not just turn like this? That's much faster. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Sam, do me a favor. Sure. Only formal, uh, non-friend acquaintances call me by my full name. You can just go ahead and call me Billy. Billy? Billy. Right. Well, that's right, because my, my family's last name is Robert. And my dad, who is, uh, well, he, he's, he's a real class act comedian. He, he thought it'd be funny if my first name was William, because that way my my nickname could be Billy Bob. Oh, I see. <laughs> huh. Engine malfunction. Wonder what's going on there. Well, that's happening. Can't imagine why. It's not like I flipped the truck or anything. Oh shit, I did flip the truck. Hi, right, William. I'm gonna go ahead and reach out for you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I got a comment from a man named Jane saying, That's right, Billy. I'm back, and I want you. <laughs> uh, I think he's making uh, one of them their wrestling jokes. <laughs> now that's good comedy. It is good comedy. I tell you what, wrestling is real. You'll never convince me otherwise. It is my second favorite sport. Nothing says masculine more oh, like watching two full-grown men, muscular men, wearing spandex, wrestling and grappling each other, forcing each other to the ground, covered in sweat. It's about the straightest thing I've ever seen. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, what is your first favorite sport? My first favorite sport is, of course, the all-American classic football. Ah, football. Which, again, involves lots of men, you know, tackling each other, dragging each other to the ground, strapping, you know. It's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, the man named Jane says it's actually a quote from the G.I. Joe PSA parodies. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, okay. Well, yeah. G.I. Joe, that's a real hero. That is a true American show. Nothing, it doesn't, nothing, you don't get much more American making a show about super American soldiers. I like Captain America, for example. Another true American classic. Oh, shit. No. So well, Steven says, Abe Lincoln okay. would be proud of your love for wrestling. Abe Lincoln? That's right. Greatest man who ever lived. And a diehard Republican. I can appreciate that. Uh, Photogenic Justin says, Who's your favorite team? Who's my favorite team? Team in what? I assume he means football. Football? Hmm. Well, I ain't gonna be any of them dirty Yankees from the north, i tell you what. They might have a good winning streak, but... I'd still tell you, Tom Brady's a cheater. It just sucks that... Uh, oh, you know who I... Uh, uh, the Broncos. Broncos are probably my favorite team. Ah, the Broncos. I was a big Peyton Manning fan back in my heyday before he retired. Went out on a win like a true champion. Man named Jane says, so you're a fan of America's teams in each sport, I assume. A Dallas Cowboys and New York Yankees fan. But I don't know if you like the Yankees, right? Well, the Yankees are a bunch of communists that make too much money and then they vote too liberally. So no, I don't like them. Ah, okay. Uh, we have Subparcade saying, You strike me as a Redskins fan, Billy Bobby. Well, the Redskins are, from what I understand, changing their team name. But, uh, the team formerly referred to the Redskins, um, they're alright, I guess. 
I don't really have too much to say about them. Honestly, I wish I could watch sports more. Another- Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, okay. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Forgot that I had a sharp turn coming up. See, that's the thing. This game will throw you a uh, like a, a curveball. Because you'll get you, you'll get going and stuff. And then you'll be driving for a good long time. Just assuming you're always going to be going straight. And then you got to make like a hard left. And you forgot to slow down. And you know, It doesn't usually end well. That, that 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 was probably the least amount of damage I've done to a trailer since I took this job. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing the demon hog can't handle, I bet. Yep, you got that right. All right, I got a few comments here. Uh, photo Jane Justin says, "It's just a sign, no big <laughs> deal. It's not like people read those anyway." Uh, and Stephen says, "Don't damage the goods. Don't worry about the goods, Stephen." They're in good hands. Besides, I I already flipped the trailer once. If they could survive that, they could survive anything. Uh, nothing you can't handle. Absolutely nothing. And Justin's right. Signs? Who the hell needs a sign? Yeah, it's like I'm driving. Why would I look at a sign? I should be concentrating on the grand old open road. Look I feel this, that. Look at this beautiful, God-created uh, landscape and scenery that we have to look at. Isn't America's natural beauty one of the most beautiful and wonderful things? That, oh, you know what's out in Nevada? Las Vegas. Las oh, yeah, Vegas is in Nevada. Maybe. That, 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 that's, a, that's a tourist trap, if you ask me. You know what brings in uh, business in the state, so I'm all here for it. Make money. And it does. It does. Where's the cruise control? I'm going to put this thing on autopilot for a little bit while I just go ahead and crack open up. Oh, well, shit. Wait. Oh, no, okay. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm going to have to time this real quick. How's the music, by the way? You hearing it all right? I was hearing it earlier, but I will double check. Yep, I hear it. Okay, good. All right, William, I'm going to step away for one minute. I'll be right back. Sounds good to me, friend. <laughs> now, the scenery reminds me of the time that I was a kid and I decided that I was going to sneak out with my old man's truck. He drove an F-150, and uh, he didn't need an F-150, but he just liked the way that they looked and how big they were and uh, wide and girthy. He said that it always made him feel big to drive a Ford F-150, even though he had no need for one. Uh, when I was 16, I told him, Paul, it don't make sense that you have one of those trucks. You never use it for nothing. And he goes, I use it all the time, son. I use it to get from point A to point B. And that's all you need a truck for. I said, wouldn't it be better to get one of them more fuel efficient cars? And he went, nah. So I was like, oh shit, all right. Anyway, so I snuck out and I took his F-150. And I, no, 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 no. I guess they just cut me off. Uh, where was I? So. Ah. Well, if it isn't my lovely wife, Betsy. How you doing there, sweetheart? Wrong way violation. Damn government always finding ways to nick me of my money. Oh, thank you, honey. My wife was kind enough to bring me my absolute favorite all-time American meal. That, friends, is a hot dog. And I'll tell you, there is nothing that screams strong, proud, straight, white man than eating a hot dog. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab 
Over here. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that's, that's really good. Same government, wrong way government, no violations. So try and find a way to nick your money. Yep, those hot dogs are good. Mm. Let's see. Uh, Penta says, we're swerving all over the place. Obviously, he missed the uh, jackpot discovered. Hot damn, where? Anyway, like I was saying, um, oh, woo, okay, that wasn't my fault that time. Legitimately, that wasn't my fault. Luckily, nothing happened, though. Oh, I missed my turn. <sighs> Pensa missed the story about the demon hog, aka my origin story. Okay. <sighs> Otherwise, he'd know that I, that swerving all over the place is part of the damn job. Or at least how I like to do my job. <laughs> Alright, Billy. I'm back. <laughs> well, you missed the hot dog part. Oh, I caught I caught a second of you dogging. That oh, looked good. That looked good. How do you take your hot dogs? The only way a true American does: with ketchup and mustard. Ah, you're a dual kind of dude. I got you. Well, you got a little bit of the sweet and vinegariness from the. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Not like I try to, you know, mow people down and destroy everything with my truck it's just i just tend generally tend to have a unlucky habit of doing so it's a occupational hazard for everyone else understandable this road looks busy we have a comment from penta penguin who says bruce springsteen don't eat no mustard and he's america's sweetheart how do you feel about Bruce Springsteen, Billy? He's a Jersey boy and a liberal. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I don't pretty much care for his music, to be honest. And I am from the <clears throat> You didn't tell me you were from Jersey. No, no, uh, no, I meant uh, <laughs> Mississippi. Well, that's yeah, better. You can just change where you're from like that, right? That's a thing people can do. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, all right. I wonder how far I went out of the way. Shit. 
I really need to pay more attention to the GPS. <laughs> how far? How far you got on this route? Well, uh, I've got about another 80 miles to go, and each mile passes in the blink of an eye. Really, it's like it's, they're they're like seconds, and yet I'm only doing 72 miles an hour. So, I I don't know how that there works. I'll just chalk it up to it's a video game. Yeah, you know what they say in a video game. In a video game, indeed. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got a, we got another semi coming. What? Crash? I didn't crash into anything. He crashed into me. Uh, Steven asks, so what brings you to Retro Roulette? <sighs> well, I heard that there were a bunch of city slickers who were looking to play, uh, true American classic called uh, American Truck Simulator. And, well, you didn't think I was just going to let them go ahead and play it, did you? Like, what kind of man just lets a bunch of kids from the city who never touched a truck in their life play a game called American Truck Simulator without helping them out? And you know what? We were more than happy to record. Penta Penguin says you crashed into the Jeep you cut off. Oh, that's weird. I didn't see a crash. No, I didn't see a crash either. I didn't even feel a crash. If you ask me, I'd say that he hit me. From what I understand of the front end of a vehicle. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's close. Oh, uh oh. Uh, wrong way, Violet. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. This is my turn. Missed the turn. Not a big deal. Go ahead and just swing around here. No big deal. So, Photogenic Justin asks, A good question. Do you play any other video games? Ever try Call of Duty? <sighs> Call of Duty. Now there, you want to talk about... <clears throat> hey. My, uh... My truck seems to have died. No, wait, here we go. I can drive again. Uh, Call of Duty. That, that's that war simulator game, right? Where you play as an American patriot and you team up with that British gentleman, Captain Price, and um, you you go and you launch a nuke at the communists in Russia, right? Yeah, I played that one. More or less. That's a good game. Never played, never played the third one, though. Only played the first two. Very intense stuff, though. And the penguin, in quotations, writes, engine malfunction. Right. That may or may not have something to do with the fact that I've tripped, flipped this trailer and barrel rolled it, like, two, maybe three times. Landed on my feet each time. Lucky me. <laughs> so I meant to ask you in the screening originally, do you have a family? Well, that's a great question, actually. And I have a lot of stories about my family. Uh, depending on your definition of family, I have lots of family. Or, if your definition varies or differs, I don't have any family. Uh, Paul tried to jump the Grand Canyon in his Ford F-350. And um, he didn't make it. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Ma dropped off the face of the earth. She just uh, disappeared. And I haven't seen her since. Um, that happened when I was... I was. Mm, that's right. I was. I think I was 22 when, when she just dipped. Told me to get a job, and then she left the house. I was supposed to kick him away. No, she kicked me out. That's right. Oh. Hey, uh, Sam. You might want to listen yeah. to the radio. Uh, the song I put in here just for you is on. Oh. Uh, 
I'll be quiet for a few minutes so you can uh, so you can appreciate it. I hit. Ah, from one of my favorite games. Yes. Uh, Pent the Penguin said you hit the guardrail. I guess I did hit a guardrail. Though, if you ask me, I'd say the guardrail hit me. He said you have side mirrors. Okay. <laughs> and photogenic Justin asks, do you have any kids? Uh, maybe? Um, You know, Interesting. you know, Interesting. the answer to that is more likely, probably, almost definitely. The problem is, is that I've got no way of telling because, uh, well, let's just say that those kids may or may not also be my, if they are mine, they may or may not also be my niece and or I ain't too. Oh, well, I see. Look, it's it's just that sometimes when you get drunk at your family reunion, you forget where you are, and yeah, sure, I've done that before. Your sister happens to forget where she is too, and y'all tend to forget what y'all look like, and accidents <clears throat> may or may not happen. Point is, um. Uh, mistakes happen in life, and it all depends on how you, you own up to them. The way I owned up to them was I went out and got a job where I could drive across the country and never see them again. So, uh, yeah. So, Foxy TV came in and said, Hey, Bill. Hey, Foxy. How are you? Hey there, Foxy. Oh, well, shit. Ah, hit the cable truck in front of me. Also, Why did you Penta stop? Asks, Penta asks, where did you get your license? Pennsylvania? No. I got my uh, license in Texas. Oh, you got it in Texas. Okay, so so you were... Were you born in Mississippi and then did you move to Texas? Or how did that work? Son, I am a southern man. As far as I'm concerned, the entirety of the south is one big state. Not wrong. We all think exactly the same. And have very strong opinions on things. Like, what kind of <clears throat> seasonings go on chicken prior to being cooked? Which, <clears throat> if it's anything other than salt and pepper, you're wrong. Yeah, keep it keep it simple. Mm -hmm. That kind of guy. And you don't go too heavy on them seasonings either. You go a dash of salt and like a pinch of pepper. And then really? you just a pinch. And then you boil it. Yes, that's right. Oh, and then you boil it. Yep, you boil it until you until it's uh, about as pale as a newborn baby. Interesting. I'll have to try that next time. I I got a freezer full of chicken. It is delicious. Not as good as barbecue chicken. If you're gonna barbecue, no. if you got a, you're gonna barbecue your chicken, you gotta do a bit more to it, but it's worth it. Oh man, I do love barbecue. Mm. Now, if there's anything that we do right, it's barbecue. That much I do know. That and live, die, and pay taxes. <laughs> All right, fine, you damn greedy Uncle Sam. 
pretty sure I've already spent the entirety of the amount of money I'm going to make for this job on the damn, <laughs> on the damn violations. No. No! Oh, come on, damn engine. Crapping out on me in the middle of a red light. Penta asks, oh gosh, how will he handle the parking? What parking? Alright. You know what? I think I know what he means. And, well, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> there are probably a lot of good and honorable police officers uh, looking for me right about now based on uh, <laughs> how many... Um, Hmm, we'll say, uh, things I hit and or broke and or destroyed, uh, on my way here. So, as far as the parking goes, um, I'm probably just gonna drop the cargo and, uh, hit the road. Poxy asks, based on how many sisters y'all fuck? Oh, now Foxy. About that. Look, it was one time and one sister. What? What is happening? Hang on a second, y'all. I need to switch view. Switch view. I, I, I'm hitting something, and I don't even see what it is. Sure. What do you gotta do? Oh, I'm hitting my own trailer. Apparently, I uh, somehow managed to get the dang thing all. Here and oh nope nope no we're not no we're not Penta says you're jackknifing your own trailer. <laughs> yep. So uh, uh it's time for a little bit of a uh, time for some transparency, y'all. Um I'm good at driving the truck, but I may have uh, solicited the exam person who gave me my commercial uh, driver's license for an ungodly and copious amount of sex. So I may not have actually passed the, uh, the um, what, what do you call it, commercial... Uh, dr parking uh, portion of the exam and uh, consequentially I am not all that great at it but it it's okay we'll figure this out it's uh Oxy says you're jackknifing your own sister I, I may have uh, at one time done that yes but I am not presently jackknifing my sister no oh and Sub Arcade put a a pog champ in the chat. Yep, this is a pretty, as they kids call it, a pog champ moment. This is where you just. Oh, you're familiar with poggers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, uh, that did not do it. I was hoping it would do it. And this game actually does have you uh, have the um, have the ability to allow you to skip the parking portion of the simulation. I just uh, went past the part that prompts that, so now y'all are stuck watching me attempting to park this thing, and that is not going to be fun for you or for me. Penta says, skipping is for sissies, and I agree. Well, y'all are free to park the trailer if you'd like, but it is a lot harder uh, than it looks. Okay, cool. I can 
definitely just... I really need to get this thing fixed. <laughs> Come on. Go home. There you go. So, Billy, okay, there we I go. wanted to ask you. Eh. Time to go. <laughs> Hey, Bill, I wanted to ask you something. Yep. What is it? When you're not on the road and doing your daily duties, what do, what do you like to do? You know, after a long day of trucking. Crack open a cold one and uh, as do I, my friend. That. What I just did. <clears throat> that. Cheers. <clears throat> Cheers. All right. Well, that's one job down. Let's do another. All right. So what we got? I just usually go for the highest paying jobs because they usually got me out on the road the longest. Um, funny thing about this game is that you uh you actually don't you don't get your own truck right off the bat you uh you have to actually earn it like an American oh you have to earn it mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you earn the truck You uh, work for people who hire you as a driver, and then you drive their trucks. Oh, I see. Now, I'm not saying that that's a bad idea or anything, but, uh, well, have you ever had sushi before? Oh, I love sushi. Well. I love it too, even if it is an American. But here's the thing: this one time I rolled a, a truck, and I rolled a trailer with that truck, and the steel from the trailer kind of meshed with the truck and wrapped around it, and we ended up crashing right across the street from a sushi restaurant that I frequented. And the owner knew me, so. The next time I went in, he had something called, on the new on the menu, it was called the Truck Roll. And he told me that he named it after my uh, maneuvering. And, uh, you know, it wasn't a bad roll. I think it had some of them spicy mayonnaise on it or something like that. Mmm. -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what a story. Yeah, I'm full of them. Foxy TV says you should green screen yourself into a truck. That would be a good idea if I could figure out how to make the damn green screen work. But uh, you gotta get them fancy lights for that. And, well, who's got time for all that shit? Not me. Couldn't agree more. Penta says maneuvering in quotes. Foxy TV says y'all need a red, white, and blue screen. Do you not see the uh, the overlay? It's red. Yeah, and it's very and it's very nice. I like it. Yeah, I made it myself. All right, so you might have helped a little bit. Oh, uh, that's, that's true, but it really was his vision. I, I can't take all the credit. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, look at that. We got a club right over there. <laughs> oh, <Hotel number. laughs> You like the clubs, huh? See, there is a cop, literally two cars in front of me. I would be going... I would be in the oncoming lane at this point. <laughs> if I wanted to convince that would be the end of this, end of this here job. <laughs> ah, fuck it. What's the worst thing that happens? Oh, and I get a speeding violation. That's what I ended up getting a violation for, was just speeding. <laughs> Never mind the fact that I ran a red light or anything like that. Are you kidding me? Another cop? Damn. They're everywhere these days. Oh, man. Tell me about it. Where I live, you can't go down one traffic light without seeing those fuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's bad. Penta you says your tax dollars at work. You don't, uh, you don't think that they got a problem with me drinking a light beer behind the wheel, right? I mean, any good, you know, law-abiding, law-enforcing, respectable police officer knows that a light beer contains no alcohol in it. It's just carbonated water that's flavored like beer. So it's not actually a beer, right? No, not at all. And honestly, it's really the American way. That's right. Couldn't agree more. As a matter of fact, they should, you know, they should be saluting me for my uh, patriotism. A man named Jane says, it is 100% American to drink a beer while driving your room. I agree. Besides, I'm all the way up here in my cabin. Yeehaw! <laughs> they ain't gonna be able to see what, I'm ha what I have. I'll just tell them it was Sprite if they have any questions. Yeah, there you go. I'll take a drink to that. What are you drink? What what are you drinking there, fella? I got some whiskey, Canadian Club, Canadian, Canadian. Son, have you ever heard of a man named Jack Daniels? I have. I do enjoy that. Did you know he makes whiskey? Uh, you know what? I did know that. And did you know that he's an American? I also knew that. Okay, so then let me ask you a question. Why would you be drinking Canadian whiskey when you can have 100% true, God, pure American whiskey? You know, that's a damn fine point to make, Billy. Well, just think about it next time you're in the, uh, the uh, store there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pour this out. Who's Canadian? Drink, drive, booze. <clears throat> well, uh, that's uh, hmm. does that go for everything, or is that just 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 alcohol? I'm I'm sure they're just talking about whiskey. So, uh, why don't we ask Chat this question? I'm gonna ask Chat a question. What is your favorite hard liquor? Oh, okay. Woo! Woo! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> whoa! All right. Well. Oh, damn it! I hit some that girl. <sighs> whoa! Why did you slow? Down, you damn idiot. <laughs> Foxy TV says, you drink, you drive, you go faster. <laughs> well, he ain't wrong. Subparkade says, I'm more of a vodka man. Oh, you see, now that's the drink of the communists. It's right there. Uh, the only thing they said, no law of the drinks are hitting where is it? That's all the communists know how to drink up there in Moscow is vodka. I bet you if you ask them, hey, you ever try a scotch whiskey before? And they look at you like you got three heads. 
won't even understand it. Probably because they don't speak God's tongue, English. I mean, honestly, the Bible is written in English. So obviously, that's the only language that should be spoken by human people, right? Right? Okay. So that's my point. Cases Bill Yad view too many. Photogenic Justin says, I like some rum, though sometimes I can chill to some wine. Now, wine wine is good. Rum is good. But uh hey. mm. what was I gonna say about wine? Wine is usually I let the women drink the wine. It's uh it's not that it's bad or anything. It's just, you know, people say things about you if they catch you drinking wine. Let's see. Foxy TV says, titties are good, beer is good. Oh, he's making... <laughs> I know what he's playing at. <laughs> Uh, oh. Photogenic Justin says too French for you. <clears throat> we don't call them French fries where I'm from. We call them freedom fries. That's the only thing they should have been called from the beginning, damn it. The French didn't even make French fries, they were invented in uh, Germany. We'll just say it was Germany. Now, I'm pretty sure Italy did it. No, you know what? I'm pretty sure... Hold on. They're potatoes, right? They eat a lot of potatoes over in Ireland. Ireland yeah, they should be called Irish fries, if anything. Oh. Oh. says, that's commie speak to me. they from America. That's exactly what... That's what I'm saying. They're from America. They should be called American fries. So Parquet says, I think it was Belgium. <laughs> Where the hell is Belgium? What the hell is Belgium? Oh, Belgium, like a, like a Belgian waffle? I get those at Waffle House all the time. They're good. <laughs> they, are. they are. You know what I like on my Belgian waffle? Meat. I like sausage, bacon, ham. They've got this thing called Canadian bacon, but I just call it... Uh, circular bacon because they don't even operate bitch they don't even eat that up there besides why would I call something that I'm eating in America Canadian doesn't make any sense you dump that whiskey that you were drinking out yet and go get yourself a real drink yes I did oh thank god I felt bad um, for you photo Justin said it was invented in Belgium but you know Germany Belgium same shit right then you need to try some of that poutine why would I eat something that has the word poo in it? That, uh, what? They eat shit in other countries? Is that a thing? What's it taste like? It doesn't smell good. Yeah, I've never really had poutine, so I can't tell you. Hold on a second. Google it. What's it look like? Let me know if you well, see actual turds in there, all right? Sure. Let's look up poutine. I will go ahead and I will drop a link to that in the chat so you can take a look. Alright. Uh, 
Well, based on what I'm looking at here, um, let's see your poutine. Uh, it doesn't look like it's nothing but fries, gravy, and little lumps of white. Oh, I think that's cheese. So it's it's just fries with gravy and cheese? That, that sounds delicious. Shit. Omar Lacona says, Hola, como estas? <clears throat> no comment. Oh, I do believe I've made a wrong turn here yonder. Gonna just need to do a quick Yui. Pray to God that I don't hit nobody. Yep, I hit somebody. Visit service. I ain't done that much damage to this truck. Shit. Usage offense. What do I not have my headlights on? God damn it. I thought these things were on automatic. What kind of person in the 21st century doesn't have automatic headlights? Damn. Communism trucks. I'll tell you what. They're probably intentionally set to not turn on automatically so that way the government can find you. Far out of the way did I go? Shoot. Probably would have just kept driving on until I hit the ocean or something. The East Coast. That person who said, uh, Como Estas, are they new? It looks that way. Oh well. <clears throat> Tell them I said hi. And uh, I think Como Estas means um, how are you? Yes. Okay. Tell William them. Robert says hi. Tell them I said hello and tell them that I uh, I am doing okay. Thank you for asking. How are you? You speak Spanish, don't you? I see, I see, my friend, but I believe in English. I want to take a moment to um, shout out. Oh, wait, hang on one second. Ooh, we're doing shout outs? I like shout outs. Hold on, I'm going to get Well, it's for, it's for you. It's a, it's a for me? Yeah, I want to let people know where they can find you. Oh, uh... <laughs> Well, where? Uh, uh, all right, I'm, well, I'm gonna pull up your website right now. I think I still have it in the email. All right, good. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, How am I damaging this truck so much? I'm just doing a little off-roading. Photogenic Justin says, Billy, let me follow you. Oh, the what the? What? Well. Bad news, y'all. Something happened. I don't know what, but my truck flipped over. So, I, uh, I don't think I can go any further. I'm going to need to visit the service station.
Oh, god damn it. That's a lot of money. Alright, everyone. Uh, you can find William Roberts at this website. I will post it in the chat. <laughs> to repair, upgrade, or paint your truck. Yeah, everyone, everyone pay him a visit there. And um, uh, if you need to get in contact with him, his email's at the bottom. But you could also go directly through us because he doesn't really check email often. What's email? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is that that thing that the government uses to spy on you? Some might say that, yes. Okay. Then I don't want it. What's the beautiful thing about this country? You don't want something? You don't have to have it. You know right. How do you turn your damn headlights on? Where is it? Is there a button for it? Oh, shit. I guess we're just going to drive with the headlights off. Who needs them anyway? service brought me right where I needed to go. This job is basically over. Could you drive any slower? God damn. Sorry, I shouldn't take the Lord's name in vain like that. Oh, it's, it's all fine. Alright, that's the end of this job. So let's see. Did I actually make any money from that? Yeah, it looks like I made a little bit. Damn. I only have 14,800. I don't actually get to own my own truck until I've got, like, well over 100,000. Some bullshit. Ooh, this job pays 10k. All right. Damn it, I'm out of beer. I'm gonna need to get more. dead of night. And I still don't know how to turn on my damn headlights. Ah, who needs them? Uh, I do. Okay. Let me use the key button. I'm just gonna hit buttons on this keyboard here until I figure it out. Nope, that don't do it. Nope, that ain't it either. 
There we go. Huh. Okay, Subpart Kate asks, what should I do if my brother is becoming brainwashed by the mainstream liberal media? I'm worried about him. This is what you do. You sit him down and tell him that God wants you to watch Fox News. And you sit him down, you have him watch 13 hours straight of Tucker Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that should take care of the problem. Tucker Carlson, huh? Just about a good 13 hours straight, no sleep, no eating, no water. 13 hours of Tucker Carlson, that'll take care of it. Tape his eyes open if you need to. Make him see the truth. What about beer? Do they have beer? Uh... Let's see. Beer. Um, well, that depends. Is he drinking Budweiser? Is he drinking Miller? Is he drinking Coors? If so, yeah, that'll help. Is he drinking any of those fruity, you know, cocktails that are made by those microbreweries that have all these different flavors and d disgusting, you know, bitter flavors in them that just aren't meant to be put in beer. Like, who who actually puts pumpkin in beer? Communists. That's who. People who are intentionally trying to indoctrinate our youth to make them think that you could carbonate whatever liquid you want and call it beer. Monsters. Every last one of them. So Parkade says, he told me Fox News is part of the mainstream too and that my argument is stupid. All right. Well, they they've been they've been kind of mixed lately. I I'll, I'll concede that. But if he really wants to go and branch out, there's this amazing uh, internet show that uh, my my friend turned me on to, and that's called Infowars. And there's this very crazy gentleman by the name of. Uh, Smalix, uh, no, I think it was Adam, Adam Jack, Adam Jack, right, I think that was it, and he, um, he gets really into it, like, like, he starts making all sorts of noises and stuff whenever he starts thinking about liberals, and I also make noises and get really, really aggravated when I think about liberals, so, uh, you should check that out. Petha says, pumpkins only grow in America, everywhere else is squash. And a man named Jane says, I need to head off. Have a great night, everyone. All Have right. Good night, man. See you later. Thanks for coming by. Hey, Betsy! Honey! Need my wife to bring me another beer. Or, you know, three, four, however many I got in the fridge. It's clearly, based on my driving, I haven't had enough to drink.
some scary eye on those roads at night. Yeah, you can say that again. I can hardly see but more than ten feet in front of me. There ain't no fog or nothing. But it's all part of the job. Trust me, I've got a lot of experience. This game doesn't do a good job of simulating how powerful a truck's headlights are. Maybe they need to get their headlight fluid changed. take a break after this next job's over, but it's going to be a little while before that happens. You know what? I just had a realization, Sam. What's that, Billy? Driving in the oncoming lane constantly is probably the safest thing I can do. <laughs> it sure appears that way. I mean, think about it. If somebody's coming my way, I'll see them coming a mile away with their, uh, there, like that, see? They had their headlights on. You got plenty of time to react. Damn, I'm doing 83 right now. <laughs> What's that? It looks like we have a another guest in the chat. Oh, who do we have? Yeah, we have my good friend James. All right. Well, how do you do there, James? I'm gonna slow down here a little bit. Taking a sharp turn. You you ever get nervous driving at night? Oh, only when I've had one too many, and that's only after I've had maybe after about twelve or thirteen beers. something very loud coming in through my ear. Sam, what is that? Well, oh, that's, that's my friend James. That's break, break eight, nine. James, this is William Robert. William, that's James. Hey, you do. I'm borrowing my good... I'm borrowing uh, my employer, Anthony's uh, 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 what do you call this here? Uh, Discord account? Yeah. I'm borrowing his Discord. You're on Route 70? I'm doing uh, a mile right now. Shit, we're gonna check this here, man. Anyway, I'm on a. Uh, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I don't know what road I'm on. Shoot. I'm doing 30 miles per hour in the Port Factory Lane. The Port Factory Lane? No. No, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I got a ship in port. Oh, you got you, you carry a port? Yeah, the Breaker 99 port. Breaker 99. I ain't familiar with Breaker 99, but you got a ship in port. You better get on your way there, because that show stuff will go bad before you blink at it. Yeah, we got that industrial salt back there, you know what I'm saying? But there's nothing sadder than wasting pork. Ain't yeah. that right, Sam? We got the industrial salt. Right, Billy. Crunch. Why? What? Oh, uh, Sam, I check the, the chat. I think I think Betsy needs something. Mm. Yeah, I see that. 
Could you tell her to bring me some of the that there beer we got in the fridge? Sure. James, you can't just say mm -hmm, every five seconds. This is a king of the hill, son. I suppose you can. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want. Oh, do you know King of the Hill? Of course I know King of the Hill. I watched like two I'm episodes. And... What are you even saying at this point? The island of Taiwan. Uh, isn't that in China? Well, uh, I guess that does depend on the U.S. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, question. <laughs> well, we're doing pretty good here on time. Betsy wants to know what kind. Uh, tell her to just bring all three. I'll knock them back. I ain't gonna probably be at this too much longer. I am gonna take a small break after uh, I finish this here job. And then, uh, in about five minutes, I'll come back. Photogenic Justin says, it's gonna be a long ride. It really is gonna be a long ride. But then again, uh, we had... We basically had a uh, an estimate of like forty of three over three hours previously. But now we've got that down to forty six. That was only like five minutes ago. So uh, based on the fact that you know we're flying down the road here at night, uh, I'd say that we're doing pretty good. turn and slow her down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> what James Justin says, it's going to be a long ride. You just read that. I'm reading it again. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. driving a truck. There's a whole lot of nothing for a very long time. You have to be a... You have to really like trucks to want to play this for long periods of time. So, Fojang Justin says, I can barely see anything on this road. How do you truckers do it? Uh, it's pure skill, really. Uh, hard work, determination, and uh, you get used to it. You kind of develop night eyes. Uh, as, eh, the more you do it. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, if you go to church every Sunday, that's a good way to, uh... Now, how, hold on a second. You you all saw that, right? That truck, mm -hmm. that truck very clearly clipped through that guardrail. Alright? Mm -hmm. How come he doesn't have to pay damages? William, apparently James is saying, mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear it. I'm doing my best to ignore it. Mm -hmm. He also occasionally makes loud noises that I don't understand. I just spit it in my, my truck. Oh, I, okay, I, I see what you're doing. Uh, oh, wait, we're here. Well, 
Well, that was a nice ride in the dark. Mm -hmm. I think the sun's coming up because if you look in the rear view mirrors, it looks like, uh, looks a little bright. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go ahead and just skip that bullshit. And I will be back in just a few moments. All right. Hey, Anthony, how do you make this thing go to that BRB thing? Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you come over here and you click on mm -hmm. this, and that takes care of it. All right, do it. back here uh good friend anthony was kind enough to uh hook us up and do all work all this here fancy smancy uh stream shenanigans and uh get let me get back here to driving uh truck which is what i was brought here to do yeah a damn fine idea so uh full disclosure we're going to be doing this for maybe about another what would you say half hour yeah, I would say so. All right, so we'll do another half hour, but thankfully, to help us pass that time, I brought me a tasty, refreshing beverage. <sighs> Sam, I don't know what you're talking about. Natural Lats a fine brew. Doesn't well, taste. Doesn't taste. Of... Doesn't taste like piss water at all. At the end of the day, a beer is a beer, I suppose. No. See, that's... How many times do I have to tell you, Sam? You can't compromise. You need... Oh, shit. Hang on a second. I forgot how to turn on the damn headlights. Oh, that's how you flash the light. Oh, those are the brights. No, I don't need it. Where's the damn button? There we go. All right, good news, everybody. We got our brights on, and we should be able to see a lot better now. Awesome. Oh, I don't need to drive in the forward lane. Let's drive in the oncoming lane. It's safer, less cars that way. they do. So, uh, what happened to your friend James there? Oh, he said he had something to do, so I just wanted to pop it. Well, all right then. You keep telling me I crash into stuff. I don't even see anything that I'm crashing into. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, thank fuck. It's finally getting to be light outside. Be able to turn my damn lights off soon.
why is it saying that somebody by the name of High Please Hydrate is starting a game called Sons of Ra? Hmm? I don't know, that's weird. Almost like I ain't entertaining enough for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he just wants the game. Oh. <laughs> I'm only busting your chops, son. I will say this though, this game is uh, oddly relaxing. Like if, we, if I could just take a moment to talk about the accuracy of it, it's it's very accurate when it comes to the simulating the physics of uh, driving yeah. a truck. It seems that way. But aside from that, it is very very relaxing just to play. Get out on the open road, and just drive long stretches. Just gonna use the shoulder to pass you here, fella. You're allowed to drive. Yeah, that's, what, that's what America is all about, right? That's Just right. Driving long stretches of road and a whole lot of nothing. All right. It's officially daylight. See, what I don't understand here is why do they give us two lanes and damn it, 75, 82? I just started. Good Lord Almighty. What the hell happened? I literally went from. I'll tell you. I literally went from damage being. Damage being at. Uh. Uh. Like 2% to 85%. In the blink of an eye. Crazy, man. I don't even know Should what I hit. Thought. I would love to know what I hit and what deity I pissed off. <laughs> now my engine's all fucked up. Penta Penguin says, keep an eye on your engine heat. Keep an eye on my engine heat. Your oil and water temperatures. I don't see anything that says that I'm, uh, I'm running hot or anything. This as far as I can tell. Oh shit, it's the cops. Start damn truck. Stalling out every five seconds. Well, looks like I'm stranded. Good thing I brought That's myself. Because you have 14 gauges. I can't move. This truck ain't moving. Well, looks like uh, we're going to have to call for service and wait. Good thing I brought myself a tasty, refreshing beverage. Hmm. Yeah. How do you call for service anyway? No. Don't need that. F1, maybe? I actually cannot do anything. This is very strange. Usually it tells me to hit enter when I need to call for a tow or something. 
That is strange. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe there's something in here. Uh... All right. Cool. It's telling me to visit visit a service station. Is it the game? Is not actually letting me uh, click the thing. Hmm. hmm. Odd. Very odd. Let me see if I can finagle it here with an alternate. Well, uh, this is silly. Oh, hey, it moved. Mr. JTTV, thank you for the follow. Yes, thank you indeed. We appreciate it. Oh, found the horn. <laughs> yes, we have special guest William Robert on the channel. Oh, and okay. engine malfunction once again. Photogenic Justin says good stuff. I feel bad. It looks like the person who gifted me this game isn't here to enjoy me playing it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, our, our friend Brian had gifted William this nice game, and I guess he is not here, or maybe he is lurking. Anyway, Mr. JTTV says, Whoop whoop, how are you all doing this Sunday night? I am doing fine. I am just having a good time watching William Robert play American Truck Simulator. This is actually like a special kind of hell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't open the menu to get myself to a service station. <laughs> Maybe Anthony needs to help you out with that. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure if I can't figure that out, he won't be able to figure it out either. He is, after all, a northerner. They don't know nothing about trucks. <laughs> yeah. Right you are. You know why I like driving eighteen wheelers? I'll tell why you. Why is one. that? Well, I'll tell you. When I was uh twenty eight, I went to the doctor because uh well, I was having a hard time of it in uh, certain situations that a gentleman doesn't usually disclose. And, well, let's just put it to you this way. If I was Santa Claus, I was having a hard time getting my sleigh off the ground. And, um, basically, a uh, doctor prescribed to me a truck. He said, if you ride in a truck, you will feel better. It will take care of your problem and you will, it will in a way compensate you for your deficiency. And I got into the truck and I started driving 
put on my favorite Garth Brooks album. And... <laughs> and uh, next thing I knew, I was uh, right as rain. Oh. Well, I'm glad that worked out for you. Yep, rocket lifted off like it was a NASA spaceship. Damn truck can't go over 52 miles an hour. It's going to be a long ride, folks. 50, 50, 53 miles an hour seems to be the cap, and uh, the engine's pretty messed up. So, hopefully, we'll find us a service station where we can get this here baby fixed. We'll get back on the road full speed ahead. But until that time comes, we're kind of dead in the water. Well, not really dead in the water, but. We're like a small boat with a small engine, as opposed to the majestic ship that this truck usually is. Make sense? Makes sense. Oh, we have Radio Tanuki redeeming. Hey, Sam. Yeah, that's a. Uh, hey, Sam. Yeah, that's a channel point incentive. What's yeah, Tanuki? You made it. What are channel points? Oh. Uh, they are a reward system on Twitch that allows people in the chat to interact with the streamer. And once somebody redeems a certain amount, you have to do whatever the actual action is. Uh, Tanuki says, very late, but I was at my parents for a bit. You're yeah, no worries. Uh, w William, Billy, rather, has been having a fun time, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, you can say that. Uh... It was a lot more fun before the truck started malfunctioning out of the blue, but it's a truck simulator, so if I know anything about trucks, that they malfunction for seemingly no reason. <laughs> Very true. Especially when you're on the high road. You can be going nice and fast, everything's going good. <clears throat> you know, you got $50 in your wallet, you're headed for the buffet, everything's going good, and next thing you realize, you're stuck on the side of the road without any idea what, why or what went wrong. Tanuki says, dude, this game actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of nice on the details. Yeah, it's pretty. Probably look nicer if I can get my hands on one of them RTX 3080s, but who can do that in this economy? Or swerving across the entire road, you know. Or swerving across the entire road. And let me tell you something about the RTX shortages. That is Obama's fault. Ah, Obama's fault, huh? Of course it's Obama's fault. Who's uh, who, Whose fault could it be? It's very obvious to me that the reason why there's a graphics card shortage is because Obama is buying them all up because he needs to hook them all up to each other to power his weather machine that he's going to use to destroy the southern states of the United States of America. And at that point, his communist agenda is going to take over the entirety of this country. Just you wait. I'm right. You'll see. Huh. That's something I never considered. A uh, photogenic Justin says, is that how they're powering their 5G signals? Oh, for the vaccines? Yeah. Well, if you want to call them vaccines. I remember when vaccines used to be something that you got as a kid and it was all right, but you don't get no vaccines when you're an adult. I'm telling you right now, this country is going right down the tubes. Tanuki says, a shame that future sightseeing son of a butt brought this upon us. Who? Sightseeing son of a butt. I think he's referring to Obama. You mean Satan? <laughs> I guess so. That well-handed mayor of Red Robin. 
I like the burgers at Red Robin. I once walked in there and I saw somebody order a lettuce wrap where their burger was <sighs> wrapped in lettuce. And I walked over to them. I had my waitress bring me a, a beer. I walked over to them and I poured that beer on their head. That's what I thought about them ordering their burger wrapped in a fucking lettuce wrap. You want a salad? You go outside, you can eat the fucking grass off the ground and graze. Motherfucker, when you order a burger, you order it with a bun. Stupid. I think you said, wow, this trucker is so accurate stopping in the middle of the road. <laughs> well, we, we, you got here late, son. We're having some engine troubles, and we ain't got no idea what's wrong with this thing. Very true. Very true. You know, a la simulating an actual truck experience. I think this is a station. I might be able to repair the truck here. God, I hope I can. Okay. Nope, looks like we could just get gas here, but I think that's a scale. Tanuki says crash into the station, and he put in more shoe emote. What's a more shoe? Oh, uh, I will have to send you. That doesn't sound like that. that doesn't sound like an American name, more shoe. I'm concerned, Samuel. I am concerned. Well, I, I, I'll I'll send you a video after the stream. Yeah, it would be nice if the damn truck would start. Actually, I'm going to be right back, Billy. All right, you take your time there, son. Well, shit. Gonna have to knock more of these back past the time. Probably the most authentic part of this experience has been trying to get your car, or truck in this case, to start, and it just won't. Oh, this is a rest stop. Shouldn't have stopped the car because now it won't start again. You know what? It looks like I'm tired, so I might need to rest anyway. Doesn't look like your uh, mechanical problems just suddenly and magically fix themselves when you rest at the station. Makes sense. Alright, so that's the scale. And it does not look like there's a service station here. Well, shit. I'm gonna get frozen patties for a rally. Uh, what are we hauling anyway, boys? Well, today we're hauling... Actually, that's a good question. Normally I take a look at the payload, but today I didn't even look at raw. No, I could be smuggling uh, illicit substances. Should probably head back there at some point and open her up and see what I got. Oh, I, you know what I hope it is? I hope it's Ben and Jerry's. Uh, I, I love Ben and Jerry's. They make good ice cream. Good. Shit, if it is Ben and Jerry's, I'm going to go back there. And I'm just going to, like, eat it. 
truck will be empty by the time I get to where I'm going. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you know you want to work. There we go. Bald Eagle Smuggler. <laughs> Shit, this game would look nice with ray tracing. Right now, I think it's just using Bloom, I think, maybe? I don't know. It's doing a good job of uh, simulating. Now, it's telling me here that I need to stop at a way station, uh, but the thing is that the truck is currently very, very heavily damage. So if I stop, they're going to find me. So, um, I've decided that stopping is for communists and I am an American patriot. So I will be doing my American civic duty by, uh, ignoring their requests for me to stop and just proceeding as normal. Or at least I would if this damn truck would stop breaking on me every damn five, five to ten seconds. Shit. Lord Jesus, what did I do to make you so upset with me? <laughs> Bald eagle smuggler. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Busy road today. By the way, chat, how do you like the view of the truck? We've got like six other camera angles we could work with. So, if you at any point you... Oh, oh, shit! There's a repair station! Oh my god, I missed the exit for the repair station! Oh, mother trucker! Snooky says, is it raining? No, it's... It's not. The wipers came on and I don't know how to turn them off, so I just kind of... said, well, she. Well, she. That's my thoughts exactly, friend. What I can do for you, if it's bothering you, is I can uh, try hitting a couple keys here on this here keyboard. And, oh, wait, nope, nope, that is, that is the map button. You know what's funny? This what's truck, that? this truck went from being 2% damaged to 75 to 85% damaged in the blink of an eye. And I think I grazed it against a guardrail. Conversely, I have barrel rolled three trucks today, and they took less damage than, than that. So, I don't know what to say at this point. Nuki said, not really, kind of just up to you there. Uh, Photogenic Justin says, clearly you need to drink some more. It helps you steer better. He's got a point. Shit, I like the way you think, Justin. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I have to 
Make sure I'm on a nice straight, narrow road. Here we go. Shit. Suzuki says calms the nerves. Yeah, it really does. Good old fashioned American bruise. He said calms the nerves too much. Too much? No such thing as being too calm. So, you asked me a while back if I had family. And, uh... uh I never mentioned about my, about my wives. So... My first wife... I met at a bar, and uh, she um, left me for uh, another man who oh. had a bigger truck than me, and that was exactly her reason. I had a Ford. Well, I had a Ford F one fifty, and he had a Ford F two fifty, and she decided that she liked the bigger truck, so she left me for him, and that hurt. So sure. I started drinking, and the next thing I knew, I found myself in church, which is where I went, met my second wife. And uh, my second wife divorced me after uh, she um, found out that I. Uh, this is embarrassing. But she found out that I like to um, look at, and again, I, I'm ashamed to admit this, especially as an American patriot like myself. But this is a habit that I'm currently in the in the process of breaking. But she she left me after I she found out that I enjoy looking at uh, anime titties. And uh, it, it's been an addiction for a long time. I have struggled with it. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, fighting back cold. Anyway. Um, <coughs> and... Uh, <coughs> Oh shit, I'm just my exit again. Um, anyway, listen, so that's something I have struggled with for many years now. I have gone to see my pastor about it, and <laughs> um, he has told he has told me that uh, the best way I can uh, move past this dark chapter of my life is to um spend less time on the internet and more time outdoors uh, on the porch with my banjo and my shotgun. Because as we all know, guns make everything better. Okay, well now my damage right is you are. Now my damage is at 87%. So just... Alright, so we got quite a few comments. All right, we'll go ahead and read them off. So, Tanuki says, Oh, hey, which country song is this you're writing right at the moment? Uh, then he says, European car makes. Then he says, Oh, okay, anime titties. Much less embarrassing. And then says, He said, Praise Dio. The priest said, I will create a new future for us in the name of Dio. <laughs> I do enjoy jo no, wait, No. I do not enjoy JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't enjoy anything uh, related to anime. I, I like I like football and I like sports. And and keep those keep those, uh, those cartoons away from me. All right. Anyway, here's here's the thing. So I, I, that that all started one night because you know how you're you're browsing Pornhub, right? And oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I can't see anything. Oh, so I shield 21 then, says Tanuki. Uh, uh, hang on a second, Sam. 
my, my problem. I, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, because it's night again, and I can't see nothing. And uh, my truck's malfunctioning. And... Uh, but anyway, you know... You, all right, so let me... Anyway, let, let me finish the story here. So, you know how... When you're on Pornhub, and you're looking at videos, and then, like, you get these suggested videos... I got curious once. Just once. And that's all it took. It's all took. I, it's like doing one marijuana. You do one marijuana and suddenly you're doing all sorts of things that that you you, you shouldn't be doing. And it's, it, it's a disease. It is a disease, sir. And I have struggled with this disease and I am trying to cure myself and fix it. <clears throat> I have prayed it away as hard as I could. And I think I'm finally... Making progress. So, Nuki said, I can't believe you looked, uh, I can't believe you looked up a Toyota. Shameful. Interior lights working, but not the headlights. Okay, sure. Well, that's because, uh, the engine itself is basically dead because, oh, wait, hang on a second. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Nope. Nope. I was gonna start for a second. Perfect that there are cops right next to me. Oh yes, the police force. How much they do for this country. Alright, so... No, wait. Okay, looks like it's rerouted us. God damn it! Alright. <sighs> Tanuki says, engine injured. Ah, the French. <laughs> yeah, what about the French? They think they're so great. If they're so great, how come they're not American? Oh, for God's sake. Tanuki says, I mean the police, not the French. Oops. The created cheese. The created cheese. The, what? Photogenic Justin says someone needs to eat more croissants. Croissants are what uh, cowards eat for breakfast. A real man eats eggs and toast with a side of bacon. That is it. Occasionally, some sausage. Oh, Tanuki said they created cheese. He cannot type tonight. It's all right. I can't type on the regular. You know what I don't understand? You know these keyboards? Why yeah. are all the letters all jumbled? Why don't you go from top to bottom? A, B, C, D, E, F, G... And so on and so forth. It just don't make no sense. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you there. That's a good, that's a good point. Oh, our, our friend Brian has joined. Well, that's about damn time. Yes, I'm Brian. Sorry, I was filing an insurance claim. I think William Robert hit me with my with his truck last week. Yeah, everyone. Uh, Brian, that is defamation of character. <laughs> I did no such thing, and you know it. Yeah, Brian gifted this game to William Robert. Those awesome. that don't know. I had a long day. I passed out. I apologize. I'm here for the long haul. Literally and figuratively get it. Yeah, it's a long yeah, haul. All right. We still got 77 miles before we're there. Where are we going? Right into the back of that truck, apparently. Jesus. <laughs> oh, wait. But I think, I think, y'all, we might be in luck. We, uh, I think there's a service station where I can fix this puppy and we can get to where we're going. Uh, where are we going? We're going to somewhere within Nevada. Come on, please. We're right there at the service station. It's like the worse it gets, the more it doesn't work. What is the, uh, destination? Somewhere within Nevada. 
Uh, okay. Hang on. Turn. Yes, that is in fact a service station. <laughs> Praise Jesus, we're saved. These graphics are good. Yeah, it's a surprisingly nice looking game. It almost looks real if you just kind of like look at it for a split second. Wait, no. Why did I pass it? Why did I? No, we're turning around. We're turning around. We're not. We're not not going to the surf. Oh wait, hold on. There's another one. There's Are you Kate turning in the middle of the road? I'm about to. Yes. <laughs> you don't understand, son. Listen, I've the been... demon hog does what he wants. Come on. The demon hog. I love it. I cleared the Grand Canyon in my semi. Uh, Tanuki says U-turns are the trucker way. Goddamn right they are. Shit, I'm almost out of beer here. I only got one can left, and that's the one I save best one I save for last. Good old American Budweiser. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Well, I can get in here, right? Nope. Oh, shit! Okay. Alright, we just gotta back up a little bit. Alright, let me just go right in here. We move right. Oh, come on, please. I'm so close. I can see it. I can see it. I'm looking right at it. I am inches away from the repair. Ah, Billy. <laughs> All I have to do is just inch forward like three feet if my truck will cooperate with me just enough to get me three feet. That's all I need. Literally all I need. Come on. If William Robert was a Pokemon, which Pokemon would he be? See, first of all, son, they're not pronounced Pokemon. They're pronounced. By, I mean, what's a Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Hard to, hard to describe, though. Like these cute little monster creatures that you can collect but also send out fighting on your behalf? That sounds like the work of Satan. <laughs> oh, Jack Justin said that slip, though. Tanuki says timber. Ah. <laughs> uh. I tell you, Billy, this brings me back to road trips with my family. Oh, where'd y'all head? Well, oh shit! My father <laughs> took me into the city to see a marching band. Yeah, my father actually ran a rake for a couple years of his life, so we did a cross crunchy trip. We went from Mississippi up to Utah. Oh, Utah! I've got friends up there. Yeah, yeah, me too. It was a good time. Yep, he's got 17 wives. Lucky bastard, not a single one of them. Is that legal? Well, sure, sure is in, in Utah. Utah. It absolutely is. Interesting. Lucky bastard. Utah. Yeah, right? That's, that's the dream, am I right? <laughs> not really. After being married six times myself, I decided that it just isn't <laughs> for me. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna stick. Yeah, I understand. Brian, I really do here appreciate this here game y'all gave me. Absolutely, I'm happy you're enjoying it. Yeah, oh, Brian, thank you for giving me this. This has made for an excellent evening. It seems pretty relaxing. That's exactly what I said earlier. Yeah, uh, Billy I was saying that. I really am impressed with the graphics. Y'all y'all would probably be more impressed if I had a better graphics card. But I already went over how Obama's using them to fuel his weather machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we don't want to touch on that again. That's a little it was, it's a very I understand that it is a controversial subject to talk about the literal manifestation of Satan in human <laughs> form. 
Why is everyone so blind to this? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't know. William Roberts, do you have any fetishes? Do I have any fetishes? Well, I already mentioned how I'm currently afflicted with a terrible disease where I like staring at them anime titties. But I went to church, and my pastor's helping me with that, so we're going to be okay. Tanuki says, yeah, the graphics are pretty impressive. It does look realistic. Well, of course it looks realistic. What else is it going to look like? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, you'd be surprised, Billy. Uh, well, I missed my turn again. God damn. I do that a lot. Photogenic Justin says, Billy is probably a missionary-only kind of guy <laughs> with the wings. What's a missionary? Oh, you mean how them folks used to... Used to... Um, uh, go go and spread the word of Jesus all over the world. Yeah. Well, we were, I we am were a missionary kind about, of guy. We were just talking about Utah. So yeah. You know what? You're right. I am a missionary kind of guy. I've been all... If I could, I'd go all over the world and tell people how happy I am. He is a missionary, but he only does anal. Write it down. Son. What? <laughs> Gonna need you to elaborate on that, but you know what? Something tells me I don't think I want you to. Who knew it? Radio Tony says, who knew the word of Jesus could be spread with a penis? That sounds blasphemistic. Could this truck be moving any fucking slower? I swear to God. It's almost... Cut him off, William. I would if there was enough road for me to get on in front of him. God damn. Shit. The damn trailer's already damaged up to 28% again. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, right? That's a new record. He says that even truckers complain about truckers. <laughs> well, of course we do. We're, we're, we're the prime ones who complain about truckers. I'll tell you something. You need to kind of walk in a man's shoes in order to criticize him, right? So, basically... Oh, you know what? Before I jump into this, do you want to hear about my third wife? Oh, yeah, sure. Talk about whatever you want to talk about, Billy. Okay, so the third one, she was just fucking crazy. She tried to castrate me with a with a knife. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, things got heated once. Um, but, uh, thankfully, that knife's been in the family for, like, six years. Sorry, 60 years. And uh, it hasn't been sharpened once, so that thing was dull as a bowling ball. And uh, I woke up when I re realized what she was doing... Prior to that knife actually being able to do nothing to me. Oh, and, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank God for that. Very close call, I tell you. I thank the Lord each day that I still have my family jewels. See, Brian posted something for the next trip. It is an Amazon link. Let me pull it up here real quick. Oh, it is a drinker beer and soda guzzler helmet. Do you have one of these, Billy? I do not, but I tell you what, that sounds like a great idea. That way I can keep both hands on the wheel at the same time and drink and drive responsibly. We'll tell you what. As a thank you for being on the show, in addition to the 30-pack, I'll get you one of these helmets. All right. Sounds good to me. Penta Penguin says, oh, my God, that is too cheap. I didn't get you with the shipping because the helmet's like four bucks for the shipping stack. Tanuki says, who knew even Billy's VTuber wife would leave him? The fourth one, it was the fourth person person I married, was a supposedly a woman I met on the internet, but I actually never saw her. We just signed the paperwork, and the next thing I realized, my bank account was cleared out. Ah, oh, you too, huh? Yeah, I'm told it happens more often than you think. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> All the time. 
it's tragic, really. You'd think that people would just learn to stop being communists, expecting handouts, and go out and get a job. Oh, that's the problem in the current climate. People don't want to work. You know why they don't want to work? Because the government just keeps giving them handouts. I tell you, these stimuli packages, it is the work of Satan, sir. Tanuki says, that's just normal marriage for you, I thought. No, no, no. Normal marriage was my fifth wife. <laughs> that one lasted a little while, too. It's just, you know, we decided after a little while to part ways because just kind of stop feeling things for each other. Sure, makes sense. Honestly, it's the most normal relationship I had, surprisingly. <laughs> no, no, no. It's very normal. It's, it's not much of a story. It's more like just a thing that happened. Ugh. Rink Wrinkle says, when did you have your sexual awakening? My sexual awakening. Well, I first discovered I liked anime titties. Uh, I, like I was saying, I was on the Pornhub one night and I clicked on a link because I was curious. Just because I was like, well, why is it all the? Why are all these cartoons showing up on my here thing? And next thing I realized, I was addicted. It was a problem. I needed to go to church about it and see the pastor. But um, yeah, that's how it works. But uh, that I'm assuming that's what he means by my sexual awakening. If he's talking about, like, when did I figure out that I like girls, and, like, when did I hit puberty, I think that was, like, 12, when I was looking at my sister, and she was looking damn pretty. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yep. Mama told me it was a perfectly normal reaction. As a matter of fact, she said that her brother, a.k.a. my father, um... He, yeah. he, he he looked at her the same way. Nephew, I leave you for one Sunday, and you're here with this man? Oh, yes, that's Alex? my... Yeah, yeah, that's my Uncle Gravy Lump. Uh, Uncle Gravy Lump. Meet William. He, he's saying some very nasty things on the Twitch. Was he allowed to say those things? Yeah, well, listen, William Robert was kind enough to appear on the show, so we're just going to let him have... Uh, Photogenic Justin clipped something called What's a Missionary? Oh, must have been that conversation from before. I don't know whether. Oh, good lord, I think I just hit a police officer. Nope, wait. Nope, I did not. Wrinkle posted a question that I don't know if I should really read to you at the moment. Uh, <laughs> but I'll do it anyway. He asks, What's your position on vaccine? Oh, don't get me started. You want to talk about conspiracies? You want to talk about the government? overreaching they are injecting you with 5g chips and do you know what those 5g's will do to you there are 5 wow. G there are listen there are five g's and they stand for th five things all right each g is something different the first one is god and what each chip does is it blocks you from receiving the waves of the thing that the g stands for so the first thing is god they want to remove god from our lives so what they're doing with this 5G chip is they are blocking God from reaching you so that way Satan can have his way with you. All right? Now, if you... Oh, hang on a second. I think I've finished this here trip. And, uh... Oh, you know what? I think that's the end of the stream, too. Because uh, I just took a look at the time here and I gotta get on going. But I'll tell you what. Um... I'll come back and I'll tell you all about the other um, the other things. And on the next one, I'll uh, I'll crack open this here boy, the red one. I saved this one for last, but it looks like I never got around to it. And I call myself an American. I only knocked back three lap beers. Shit, I need to up my game. All right. Well, well anyway, really, it was great having you on, and I can't wait to have you on again. Honestly, I I had a great time. I I'll, I'll come back. See, this, when they, let me call your attention to the game real fast. They had me select a profile picture, and I figured this is what I'm going to look like when I get to the nice ripe old age of uh, 72. So that's what um, I chose as my profile picture. But um, anyway, so like I was saying, uh, I'll tell you what the other four Gs in the 5G chip um, are next time. Like, I'll kick it off with that and everything. So... You just, we'll, we'll put a pin in that, 
And uh, when we get back out here on the road, we'll uh, we'll revisit that subject. So for the time being, though, I think it's time that I signed off. I'm going to give this back here to uh, to your boy Anthony. All right, it's been a pleasure, y'all. Yeah, sounds great. And uh, you guys can find Billy at the website I posted in the chat. And he will be on soon. We'll update everyone on the schedule. All right. Sounds good to me. This is William Robert, a real American, signing out. Take care, y'all.